Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Tara. So, today's Saturday and it means it's craft with me day, which I look forward to because I just get to do whatever I feel like doing. Um, I have brought along some stuff. Actually, I'm again gonna say I haven't brought along, it's just here on my desk at this point. Um, some goodies to work with. And I, um, I told you guys yesterday on our journal with uh, Build a Journal Day that we were going to decorate and do some ephemera. So let's pull out our stuff. Uh, let's see here. I just, I'm so excited to see you guys every day or to be with you, you know? I get excited. I was thinking, um, I just wanted to tell you guys that. That I just love being with you, knowing that you all are there and that I'm talking to you and that you're going to respond later and we're going to converse and, you know, if I could have all of you in my living room while I craft and we, and you craft, we wouldn't have such a good time. <laughs> so let's see, what do we want to decorate first? Oh my goodness. I love these. We did them the other day. This is the, um, I don't know if I'm using it as a bookmark or a belly band, but I really liked it. So I'm going to grab my Tim Holtz people. They're right here behind me. And that way I have them with me. But I have been actually, check it out, you guys. I showed you the other day on Tuesday, I believe. I've been decorating and actually I've gotten quite a few things done, right? Congratulate me. I feel, I feel so accomplished. I'm like, oh my goodness, my box is actually starting to get fuller. And when I started, there was like two pieces in here that were finished. So yeah, we've got we've got quite a bit of stuff to work with, and that's exciting. I'm serious because I really wanted us to, um, you know, get some of this ephemera finished off, so we're ready to use it. I was gonna show you if it's in here. I'm not sure that it is though. I did. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Yay. Oh, here it is. The other day I was starting to show you something and I couldn't find it. Um, I had made this paper with the, you know, the sprays and stuff and then the, the, the acrylics. Um, I always forget the name of these. The liquid pearl. And so I wanted to show you what I had done. I had backed one of the postcards. This I went in and I did like pressing into the ink to get this effect okay and then on the other side I glued a piece of this and then decorated it and so yeah it's kind of fun and I was hoping you know maybe we'll maybe we'll make some of these for our backgrounds because they are pretty and then do some uh, I don't know ink pressing because this is what that is it's ink press it, what would really be cool is to even do some watercolor press into the paper and, and get, you know, some nice uh, background, just really interesting, um, what is the word I'm looking for? <laughs> I can't think of the word. You know what I mean. Anyway, interesting, not images, but prints, I guess, from that. Yes. For all the time you guys know me, you will always hear me asking you, what word am I trying to think of? It's kind of a normal thing for me. I uh, forget a lot what I'm going to try to say, so just please bear with me. So I really liked this stitch. Um, I didn't know if it would work with paper, but it ended up working really well, and I was excited about it because I think it looks pretty cool. Now, I was looking here to see if there's if I should do like a little person or if I should do a, like a print, an image. I don't want to cover this whole thing. I just would like somebody probably need to do a smaller um, version of someone here. But the larger, look at this, I had her right there. The larger will actually fit. It just looks kind of cool. Let's see. Maybe I will use the bigger print here. Well, 
I've got him on another one and so I'm gonna save him. Aw, that's cute. I think I'll use him and his dog. That's adorable. I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna put that down. And I'm gonna grab some of my things over here. I've got hmm. I've got some like encouraging words. Um, I'll take up too much space. So I hope you guys are having a good weekend. Are you getting any crafting done? If you are, let me know in the comments what you're working on. I would love to hear about your projects. As you know, I am nosy. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm really not. I just really am interested. <laughs> oh, this says, I will not be shaken. Praise God. We know that one, right? We need to be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. I'm thinking... I don't know. I kind of am thinking to do something more with, like, um, because of it being long and skinny. Oh, where are they? Oh, here they are. Me and my word strips. I was thinking to do, um, instead of doing, like, a chunky thing that covers everything up, doing that, something more like this. Where's my little thing? I'm going to cut this down. Okay course like I always do. I just love the rounded corners if I can have them. I need, you know what I want to get you guys? I want to get um, some of those punches that do like, um, what do you call it? Uh, flowers and just edgings, you know, instead of just the rounded corners. I think that'd be fun. I've, I mean, I've shopped them online and stuff. They're kind of expensive actually. I'm just scrunching this up by rubbing it across here. I have discovered I like this. I like the way it looks. If you just press on it, it ridges like the pad in the ink thing. And then if you kind of swipe it, you get the darker little pieces and stuff. I like that a lot. I think it's fun. I'm going to go around this edge and darken this paper a little bit. So yeah, okay, so how many of you have joined our Facebook group? I think the last count I saw was 29, so if you haven't joined us, please do. You know, once we get going and getting started, you know, really going, everybody's posting and stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. I, of course, am still learning how to operate the thing, but I am, uh, little by little, I'm learning. Just darkening this a little bit. And we got to brown him out and the dog, of course. Uh, we don't have to, but you know me, I have to. <laughs> and then take it off. I just like to age stuff somewhat. Yeah, I, uh, I'm excited to see what people are going to post. I haven't had a lot of posts yet on the Facebook group. Um, now, of course, this is early in the week that I'm recording this, so maybe by the time you guys see it, there may have been kind of more of a pickup on the amount of folks posting. That's very possible. 
because I'm ahead of it, uh, ahead of you guys a little bit. You know what I mean? I'm. This is. Let's see. This is Sunday, August 29th, or no, 28th. And so, of course, now you guys are next Saturday, so that's Saturday, September, whatever, 5th or something like that, so, or 3rd, I don't know, what day, <laughs> I have to count forward, <laughs> anyway, but, so yeah, we may have had a little bit more activity on there by now. I always get a little bit of glue on the front, I know, I don't mean to, but I seem to always get just a little bit. Okay. So has anybody seen any good movies or are you watching any good shows? I am totally boring about that. I tend to watch the same things over and over and over and over and over and over. Like right now, my husband and I are watching reruns. Uh, we always watch reruns of some sort, to be honest, because, you know, we like... I like things that are clean and I mean for the most part and yeah I like cop shows and stuff like that but if things get you know a little too risque or whatever I'm really not interested in it been there done that bought the t-shirt wore it out don't need it again so yeah so I I tend to try and just keep things positive as po as much as possible and and or clean you know I mean I may watch like I said cop shows once in a while which I do but uh, other than that, yeah. So we watch a lot of reruns and a lot of um, silly shows. Like right now we are watching Step by Step from back in the 90s. And we're watching, uh, what's it called? Um, oh, what's the show called? I can't think of it. Not Bosom Buddies. Um, the one with Balky and his cousin. Oh my goodness. That's funny. I can't think of it. Perfect Strangers, I think. Something like that. Anyway, we're watching that. And we are watch we always watch MASH in the evenings. My husband has never seen MASH, believe it or not. Um, he's a little bit younger than me. And he his mom did not like MASH because, you know, when MASH came out when she was a kid, she was in her teens, her brothers liked it because it was a war show, you know, and she didn't like it because she was growing up in the 70s, um, you know what I'm saying, and so yeah, she hated it, so she never watched it, and, um, and so Courtney's never watched it, so he's actually enjoying some history, uh, um, you know, in our in our media, <laughs> by watching an old show like that with me. Um, so yeah, we watch Mash. Uh, what else am I watching? Um, I think that's kind of. Oh, we watch some BBC. You know, like a few of the comedies, but mostly mostly we watch uh, just like Vera. You know, some cop shows, Father Brown, things like that. Um, yeah. We're kind of boring, I guess, in a way. Now, this morning we watched on 20, on 21 today, I watched, um, I got to see Jensen Franklin, and he did a really good message on uh, Rachel's army. And there we go. I will not be shaken. All things are possible. Hallelujah. So yeah, he's he was doing a um, message about Rama and it, basically though it was talking about our children in this nation and in our society and you know how the enemy is trying to destroy you know our families and I mean it's been going on for generations of course but you know he was calling women to really pray for their families. And it was a really, really good message. Um, it touched my heart a lot because I've, I've gone through quite a bit with my kids and yeah, it ministered to me. 
I'm gonna put a little bit of this dark green. I just love this dark green. I gotta, I'm got i hoping that Hobby Lobby still has it because this was on sale. It was one of their reduced ones, like they were getting rid of it. I hope they still have it. Maybe they just had an overstock and we're trying to, you know, get rid of overstock. I hope, I hope, because it's so pretty. Look at it. It's so pretty. I really like it. If I could just get my fingers to pinch it correctly, I'd be really happy. <laughs> Y'all know my battle with this. Oh, I've talked about it enough. Look at it. I just, I can't, I don't know why. It just won't cooperate with me. It doesn't like me. Get over there. By the time I get it to move, the glue's dried and I gotta add more. And now I have to lay it down because the glue is making the material look ridiculous. <laughs> How many of you are out there laughing at me right now? Or just shaking your head and sighing because you see how painful this is. <laughs> I'm trying. Come on. Get over there. Yeah. It's just not working for me. I just want a pretty scrunched up. Look at this. This is stupid. Look at that. It, it just. Uh, I'm starting it over. Yes. I am tearing it off. You know how I am. I'll tear it off and start the whole thing over. Yes, it's true. I will. Okay. We're going to try again because this whole bottom is messed up. If I don't get something down there, it's going to look ridiculous. Okay. There we go. And we're going to fold. Press. Fold. And I'm going to hold it there until it dries a little bit. I don't care if it's crooked or, you know, kind of chinky. Um, all I care about is that it not be flat, actually. And then if it does fold a little bit, that at least the folds, like that's not going to look right, that at least the folds look normal, kind of like a ruffle. I kind of like the, well, I've told you guys, I like that ruffle that doesn't look perfect. I, I find it pretty, but... It's got to at least make sense. It can't just be some bizarre bunch of bumps across the page. It's got to look like it's at least trying to be a ruffle. Y'all get me, right? <laughs> I do get frustrated with this. I know somebody's out there and it's going to comment and take pity on me and be like, Tara, do it like this. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> I have people comment about the French book. <laughs> They're like, it means three comedies. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like I should know that. Sorry, I didn't. I'm sorry. A French girl who can't even read her own, the, the language of her. My grandfather spoke French, but I didn't see him after I was three years old, so he didn't speak it to me. <laughs> he passed away, unfortunately. So there we go. There's that little guy. Looks pretty sweet. Nice and grungy little fellow. Let's see. I was going to show you guys this. I used a dry wipe, and I don't even know what you'll think of it, but I used a dry wipe to see what kind of effect I could get, and that's the that's the effect I got with like the inks, um, the oxide spray inks, and the pearls. So it's kind of interesting. Might look kind of cool with the right you know, as a backdrop with the right stuff on top of it. I know, it's not the fanciest thing in the world. Okay, I want to do something a little different this time. Let's see, let's do one of my old things. Let's see. 
Let me just grab them from this box I showed you guys. <laughs> um, oh, wow. Hmm. Well, this is a project we could do. It was one of Tina's. This is a little booklet, okay, you can journal on each one of these pages, and then these are pockets. I did this with Tina eons ago, eons ago. I wonder, I was thinking if I covered that up. I'm not, I'm not too crazy about this, and I don't, I don't think it'll come off without tearing this up. Let's see. It's a little late now. I just don't really like that material in there. Thinned it out, but I think it's salvageable. Let's see here. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do. I'm going to do a little bit with Myrtle Cottage, or with the cottages, Tina's Cottages here. Maybe I'll do a little collaging on the front of this. I've realized that I think most of what we do is collaging in some form, you know, I mean, more or less. It's, it's like sometimes it's a lot more, sometimes it's less, but it's always basically drawing a picture with different things on top of each other, you know. Um, at least most of my stuff seems to be collage, you know, in the long run, if you're really going to put a name on it. I've got so many envelopes over here. Let's see. Oh, this is pretty. Let's do this. Another Tina, of course. Ms. Chevy Debbie Doodah herself. We love her so much. Those of us who know her, know of her. One of you asked me in, in the comments one time, who's Tina? I was like, oh, let me tell you about my Tina. <laughs> She's the reason, I mean, her, I would say, other than my son and my husband encouraging me to do this, I mean, Tina's the reason I'm here with y'all. She really, really is because I loved her and I just loved how she shared her, you know, her fun crafting with everybody. It just made me want to share with somebody, you know? It gave me that same feeling. I really like these Tim Holtz cards. I'm going to end up using them quick if I don't. I don't want to hoard, but at the same time, I do not want to use them like overnight. And I, I'm like grabbing them all the time now. This one will be pretty. Pray without ceasing. First Thessalonians 5.17. Praise God. Does that mean that you're supposed to pray constantly, all the time, 100% of the time, be in prayer? Would that, no. What that means is that you're supposed to have a constant heart and mindset toward God, lifted up toward prayer. You know, because prayer, people think of prayer as something that you get down on your knees and you do, which is one form of prayer, of course. Um, that is one posture that we take. But prayer with the Lord is conversation. It'd be like being in the same house with you guys and not talking, you know. <clears throat> so when we pray without ceasing, it means we converse with God and we fellowship with our, our God without ceasing, which is perfectly, uh, we're perfectly capable of doing because he dwells within our heart. Amen. So yeah, so that's what they're, t that's what Paul was talking about here. He was talking about constant communion with your savior. Beautiful thing. Praise God. I love these tabs. I need to get, if any of you know where I can get this kind of a punch, my punch is not exactly like that. I have a tab punch, but I'm not crazy about it. And I would love to know where I could get one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay it out like that on that part. I would love to know where I could get one. That would be awesome. So if anybody knows, 
And thank you, by the way, for <clears throat> those of you who commented about um, the Tear Ruler. Through Memory Keepers, I believe. Yeah, I need to. Uh, I need to grab one of those. I just, you know, I bought the wrong one. I ended up sending them back. You know, there were seven of them in the pack, and I mean, they looked normal on the picture, of course, in Amazon. And then you get them, and they're the flimsiest little things I've ever seen in my life. I couldn't believe it. It was just like sh little thin pieces of aluminum metal. <clears throat> Yeah, did not work for me. I mean, maybe some people like them. You know, I'm sure there are those that do, but I felt like every time I used it, I was going to break it in half or I was going to bend it and have to bend it back, you know. I didn't like that feeling. I just want one that's solid. And So thank you for giving me the heads up about that. I appreciate it. Let's see. Do we want to go sideways? And then maybe do this one here. We could do that. I want this little butterfly showing. I really like these little butterflies in that kit. So, yeah. I think I'll go like that. Nippers. Um, and I am going to make sure the side is done. Yeah, this is kind of an interesting piece. These would be a good Mass Monday thing to do. Um, I think this is my last one left in my box. I don't know. I'd have to go through my box and look, but I'm pretty sure it is. I'm sit this one right here, right there, and then I'm gonna put. I'm gonna get me one of these pages. This is left over. I've got this stack of pages over there from uh, our book we're doing our new uh, book series, our journal series, the altered book. Yeah, might as well utilize these, right, for my glue pages, since I'm not going to probably use them for anything else, at least not right now. There's that. There's our first level. And then we go to the next one. Fun, fun, fun. Let's see here. We should do another. I'm going to have to print out more of these cottages, because I am about out. I think I'll go ahead and leave this one full on. I need a drink of my water. Bear with me for a moment. And how many minutes are we at? Let's see. Okay. We're still good. I hope you guys like just sitting back crafting together and doing some chill work. I do. Some days I just don't want to have to um, be working on a process of some sort. You know, I'd rather just be relaxing with you guys, chit-chatting with my friends. And thank you so much, guys, for your, just for your kindness and sharing your heart with me. I know, again, Tara's getting mushy. I can't help myself. That's just who I am. Y'all have to get used to it. I'm going to constantly say that I love you and that I thank you because you guys are awesome. I'm serious. My, my husband even says thank you. He, um, it blesses him to know that, you know, you guys are, are being so supportive and kind and letting me just be me and you guys be you and getting to know each other I mean that that means a lot to him as my husband you know and for me to come and tell him constantly how so and so is such a blessing and so it's I mean there are those of you and you know who you are that I can just I could literally I know in real life not just YouTube world and Facebook world but I know that you and I would be friends. There are those of you who have um, really, really blessed me. Really blessed me. And you make me laugh. You guys are funny. You crack me up sometimes. It's like, oh my gosh. When I get up in the morning and I read my comments from you guys, I just never know what you all are going to say. <laughs> 
It makes me giggle. Nope. You know what? That is like way too big for this. I don't know what I was thinking, but we might be able to fit this like on the side margin here and then maybe, let me see. We're going to try. I'm so bad about doing this. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> okay, so is it there? Come to, uh-uh, not all the way. It's not there all the way. And you know me, I'm going to try. I can cover this up, right? I'm funny. I am. I'm crazy. I can't believe I'm doing this yellow. Look at that. Come to me, all you who are wearing. It's a stutter because of Tara being clumsy. Let's just cover that, okay? I, well, I wanted to put something on here that would, uh, let's see. I was thinking, let's just write. P. I should use this one. I don't know what I'm thinking. That vintage photo is not going to be dark enough. No, no, no. Now I've probably messed this up. Leave it to Tara. I know. I'm too hard on myself. No, really. Legitimately, I'm really not. I'm not that hard on myself. I promise. I just know my strengths and I know my weaknesses and I know that, um, you know, my weaknesses usually outweigh my strengths. <laughs> oh, I'm good. I'm going to make this look kind of just everywhere because I can't make it perfect. And I like that, that little look of kind of things being a little off, you know, not perfect. Let's see if I can fit an E and an R on here. And then we're going to do the ah. Uh, you know what? Might look really cool. Let's do more. Let's do more. Okay. Let's do prayer. Warrior. Hallelujah. A. Do I have an R here? R, R, am I spelling it right? I, O, R, yay, prayer warrior. Did I spell that right, warrior? I hope so. <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> Okay, so now let's try to put these back into the box. Put them back in the box correctly. T U V W. Now where's my X? Did I take my X out? I did. I didn't need it, but I took it out. Okay, and then we've got R. And I'm almost done, guys. Stick with me. I'm almost done. There we go. All right. There we have it. Prayer Warrior. Okay. We're going to put that on there. Probably should just use my other glue. I'm going to have to switch this out. It's almost gone. And I get a new order tomorrow. I actually got them on time. My glue sticks, I mean. There we go. Prayer Warrior. Ooh, you know what? <laughs> who, who in our little box shall be our prayer warrior? Hmm? Hmm? Let's find him. Let's find him. Little girl or lady. Oh, she's beautiful. Let's see. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking if I put like a label... What do I have over here? I could do like 
this little label and then we could sit her on the label like that just yeah I'm gonna trim this down just a little so it's shorter okay and Let me know what you think about these just craft along days where we do kickback, you know, like this. Because I personally enjoy them, but if you guys get bored or you don't like them, please let me know. You know, I don't want to bore my, my friends. I, I, I would rather be on here doing stuff that you enjoy. And if there's something you would like better. I mean, we have... I, I just figure Saturday, Sunday, and Tuesday can be our little craft days, and then, you know, um, and our whatever day we want it to be, where Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays are more assigned. I've, you know, got them assigned to be like a topic kind of thing, and <clears throat> I just like the freedom of, because sometimes I just want to sit down and work on something. And bring you all along and I don't really um, there we go and now you can still see prayer warrior she's our little prayer warrior praise God I don't really have like an idea of what I want to do as much as I or maybe I want to work on something that's kind of singular it's gonna be just that day and I want to hang out with you guys while I do it you know and talk to you um, and so that's what I, that's why I kept like Tuesdays and Saturdays and Sundays more freed up so that I could do that. That's not covered completely in the background there, but for the most part, that page is covered. And the, so the first page is Pray Without Ceasing. And then this one's Prayer Warrior. Woohoo, those are, that's awesome. Praise God. I like that. Now, let me see. What do I have here? <clears throat> what do we have? I need another drink of water. Okay. Hmm. I had, I had stamped it with a little bee and a flower. <laughs> It's kind of cute. I'm thinking that we might also put like a tab on this just for fun. Just for appearance sake, you know. I like tabs. You don't necessarily have to, but just in case. Now, shall we try this again? And I'll like you know, pay attention to what I'm doing and let's see. Leave it there for a second. I always pull up too soon. Oh, perfect. Hello. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> that happens very rarely. <laughs> Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Thank you, thank you, Lord Jesus, for the rest that you prepare for us every single day. You know, if life is too much sometimes, just remember, you know, surrender those things that are that are difficult to him. Let the Lord carry those things, okay? You don't have to carry them, honestly. People say, Well, how do you, you know, how do you give it to God? You say to the Lord, I am surrendering, fill in the blank. I am surrendering this to you. I'm taking these thoughts captive that are that are berating my mind. My spirit has been at unrest or my heart has been at unrest. And I am taking it all and I'm surrendering it to you, Lord Jesus. You know, 2 Corinthians tells us, that we are to take our thoughts captive if they are not true. And what thoughts are those? The thoughts that Philippians 4.8 tells us what kind of thoughts 
if they're not true, if they're not just, if they're not praiseworthy, if they're not good, you know. We don't, we don't need to be thinking upon them. And so how do we not think upon things that are berating us? We go to 2 Corinthians 10 and we say, Lord Jesus, I take captive these thoughts that are coming against my mind that are not from you. And I ask, Lord, that you would take them. I surrender them to you in the name of Jesus. And you know what? I promise you, as you do that and you say, get behind me, Satan, back off. You're going to find that peace will come in the midst of everything you may be going through. And I know this because I do it every single day. I experienced this. I have experienced this. I, uh, I can promise you that the days that I forget, because we all forget, we all, as, as men and women of God, we all have times, you know, throughout our day-to-day -day life where we forget that we can call on the Lord. And the awesome thing, though, is that His mercies are new every morning. He knows we're going to forget. He knows we're going to have times that we're too hungry or we're too angry or we're too lonely or too tired to remember to call out to him. And he, But he's still right there. The moment you do, he's there. And he promises these things to us. And if we will activate them, activate the promises of God, he will give us that peace and he will give us that rest. Okay, guys? So, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So I'm going to finish this piece off and then I'm going to say bye for the day because this one took me a lot longer than I intended. But I'm going to put this down as a pocket. Okay? So this one's going to have a little pocket on top of the flip. And I do think we're going to make these pretty soon. Let me know in the comments if you guys would like that. I really like these and I had forgotten about them. Um, I think that they'd be fun. And I'll probably, you know, once this is totally decorated, I will put like a little mini tag in here. Not with any, um, maybe with a tab instead of a ribbon or anything because I don't want to bulk it up. But look at that. Isn't that so precious? We have Pray Without Ceasing, Prayer Warrior, and Come to Me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Isn't it awesome how the Lord always makes things? He works them all out, so it just, it flows. It makes sense. I love that. I love that because I never know what I'm going to put down. And then when I do and I go back and look at it, it makes sense. And that, that comes from him. That's, you know, that's not our human talent. That's just his God-given supernatural ability, you know. I love you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you tomorrow. Have fun at church, okay? Bye, guys.